When you think of Gronk, you think of two things. One of the best tight ends in the NFL in his prime, and a fun-loving guy. In today's video, we will explain why Rob Gronkowski is the biggest party animal in football. Gronkowski was raised in the nearby town of Williamsville after being born in Amherst, New York on May 14, 1989. He is Gordon Gronkowski and Diane Walters' second youngest child and, through his father, is of Polish ancestry. His father played offensive guard for Syracuse University from 1977 to 1981 and later started a company selling high-end exercise equipment. He is the great-grandson of Ignatius Gronkowski, a cyclist who competed for the United States and held five world records at the 1924 Summer Olympics in Paris, France. In 2008, Gronkowski's parents divorced. All four of his brothers, Gordy, Dan, Chris, and Glenn, participated in collegiate athletics before moving on to the professional level. Gronkowski played hockey up to the age of 14, at which point he switched to basketball. He spent his first three years of high school at Williamsville North High School, where he competed for the Spartans as a tight end, defensive end, and freshman kickoff specialist. This was supposedly because of him having the biggest feet on the team. He had 36 receptions for 648 yards, 7 TDs, 73 tackles, and 6 sacks as a junior. He received first team and second team All-State honors for Western New York. After high school, Gronk played for the Arizona Wildcats from 2007 to 2009 under head coach Mike Stoops. He had 28 receptions for 525 yards and 6 touchdowns as a freshman in 2007. He received yards, set a school record for a tight end, and his 18.8 yards per catch average led the squad. He received honorable mention in the All-Pac-10 and was chosen as a freshman All-American by the Sporting News and Rivals.com. Despite missing the first three games of the 2008 season, Gronkowski went on to compile a team-high 47 receptions for 672 yards and 10 touchdowns. He scored five touchdowns in his first two games against UCLA and Washington. He set tight end specific school records for receptions, yards, and touchdowns in a single game, season, and career. As a tight end for the Pac-10, Gronk was selected to the AP Third Team All-American. He was added on the Lombardi Award watch list before the 2009 season. Due to his back surgery, he missed his junior year in 2009, which hurt his draft standing. When signing a $54 million contract with the New England Patriots, or anywhere else for that matter, few people have the self-control to be thrifty. In an interview with the top tight end, CNBC learned that before retiring, he hadn't spent much of his NFL earnings. Instead, he used the income from endorsements to support himself and purchase real estate. He has promoted CBD and frequently discusses its advantages for recovery in public. He briefly dabbled in professional wrestling, and he and his brothers founded Gronk Nation their own clothing company. In addition, he has penned a biography titled It's Good to Be Gronk, and he intends to pursue a career as an actor in Hollywood. The 33-year-old tight end is said to have a net worth of around $45 million. Known around the University of Arizona for hosting parties with slip and slides, hot tubs, and stripping, Gronk wasn't just a star college athlete, but the life of the party. Gronk said, The good thing about the way me and my brothers party is that we don't sit on our butts or just sit around with drinks in our hands. We go hard. We don't do drugs. We don't need to. We have so much energy and are so fired up just to party among ourselves that whatever there is alcohol or not, we jump at the chance to get wild and start dancing to the extreme, laughing, making jokes, doing stupid things, and having so much fun, it's infectious for everyone around us. Because when we get started, we party harder than anyone. We are dancing high energy, constant moves, jumping gyrations. It is the best cardio workout ever. So actually, even when I am partying, I am working out, he elaborated. There was always a party going on at our place. Our deal was we had to have what we called a pregame party, where we had a few girls come over and start the drinking, dancing, and just getting wild. Then we would go to wherever the happening party was, and when that was over, we would come back to our place for the after party. I was always hungry by the time we came back for the after party, so for whatever reason, one I really can't explain. Every party night, you could find me cooking scrambled eggs totally naked at 2 or 3 a.m. I made them for the whole crew as the designated egg maker. The best part about Gronk partying is that he's never let alcohol get the best of him. He just likes to party hard and have fun. Rob provided some insight into his playing career during an appearance on HBO's The Shop, uninterrupted. In a clip of the show, Gronk discussed the lifestyle he was maintaining as an NFL player. I live the typical party life, Gronk said. I was eating effing s every second. I was just trying to put on weight. I was living that life. And then at the same time, I was going out and playing effing football and running people over, getting the effing ran over. 
Gronkowski also talked about when he knew he wanted to step away from football. It was about two years ago. There was a game changer in my life where I was trying to go out to the practices during the summer and I was getting smoked by every rookie. And I felt in order to do something bigger in life, in order to get a higher stage because you're winning the Super Bowl, I felt like I had to get away from the game and focus on my health. Just before turning 30, Gronk left the NFL soon after the Patriots defeated the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl LIII in February. Throughout his nine-year NFL career, injuries to Gronkowski's knee, back, head, and quadriceps caused him significant hardship. At a press conference, Gronk revealed his collaboration with CBD Medic, a company that develops CBD-based medicines to help with pain management. He acknowledged during the news conference that his physical condition wasn't ideal at the time of his retirement, but left the door open to a potential comeback to the NFL in the future, if he can achieve full health. The five-time pro bowler should have a resume that is impressive enough to get him introduced into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Even if he decides to retire permanently, Gronk, who the New England Patriots chose with the 42nd overall pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, inked a four-year $4.4 million deal with a $1.76 million signing bonus during his debut season, which saw the Patriots win the AFC East. He received three nominations for the Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Week Award and was chosen for the NFL All-Rookie Team. In 2011, when playing against the Indianapolis Colts, he set the NFL record for the most touchdowns scored by a tight end in a single season. Additionally, NFL.com named him the hardest working man and the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. The Patriots mated the Super Bowl XLVI, but the New York Giants won. Following an MRI that revealed torn ligaments following the Super Bowl, Gronk underwent surgery for the injured ankle he sustained during the AFC Championship. In order to prolong his existing contract, Rob signed a six-year, $54 million agreement in June of 2012. He broke his forearm later in the season while playing against the Indianapolis Colts, which required him to miss a number of games. When the team's first playoff game rolled around, he broke it again, requiring yet another operation. You can't make this up. In February 2013, he underwent surgery to remove the infection from his forearm. In a few months later, he underwent another procedure to replace the metal plate that had been put in during the initial surgery. TJ Ward of the Cleveland Browns struck Gronk with the right knee, tearing the MCL and ACL. After having back surgery in June 2013, Gronk returned to the field in October. In 2014, the year the Patriots won the AFC East title once more, he was nominated for both the first team, All-Pro, and the Pro Bowl. He received the Comeback Player of the Year honor at the 2015 ESPY Awards for his play during the 2014 campaign. With a final score of 28-24, the Patriots defeated the Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl XLIX of 2015. Due to hamstring, back, and pulmonary contusion injuries he sustained in 2016, as well as back surgery, Gronk was on injured reserve in the early months of 2017. When the Patriots defeated the Atlanta Falcons 34-28 to win Super Bowl LI after being selected for the All-Pro First Team by the Associated Press in January 2018. Rob's contract was modified to include a $2.5 million bonus. The Patriots lost by a score of 33-41 to to the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl LII the following month. With 297 yards and 23 receptions during the team's 13-3 victory over the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl LII, Gronk set a Super Bowl record for yards and catches by a tight end. Rob, who was 29 at the time, announced his retirement from the NFL on March 24, 2019. However, he returned a year later while playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and won another Super Bowl. He can't thank Tom Brady for convincing him to come back. Rob Gronkowski has been dating the same lady for years. Camille Kostek recently made news when it was revealed that she was a rookie model for the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Due to her strong commitment to her lover, the majority of people believe the two are married and frequently refer to her as Rob Gronkowski's wife. The two haven't been engaged, but their wedding has been one of the most eagerly anticipated events in the athlete's life. And fans are waiting for the day when he'll pop the question and officially wed Camille Kostek. Do you think Rob Gronkowski is the biggest party animal in American football history? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.